Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a super quick video today. A little bit of an extra nugget, if you will. It's a bit of a sad one, to be honest, because I found this guy upstairs and I thought he was doing fine for a bit. He's never grown well, I will explain in a moment, but I think I've caught him just in time, guys, because I think what's happened is I've left him too long between a watering. The roots inside this pot have dried out. I've then watered them again after they're completely decimated and they have rotted. That is a popular thing that can happen Happen, especially in this shop. It happens all the time because I had too many plants, okay? But that wouldn't be so bad if this wasn't a super, super, super rare plant, okay? If you can't tell what this is, it might look a bit different to you. This here is Anthurium, King of Clarinervium. It is, I don't know if it's an unknown hybrid or it's a mutant Clarinervium. Can't really remember. Clearly at some point we've had flowers from it, so that's great. King of Clarinervium by something. I don't know what that is, but clearly it didn't work. And clearly this plant is on the brink of death. So what I'm going to do today, super quick one, I'm going to unpot it, I'm going to trim off the rot, and I'm going to see if we can save this plant. I don't know what I want to put it in yet. I'm going to see the state of the root. I have basically another one of these to put it back into. I suspect this is too big. What might need to happen is I might need to put it in moss. I might put it in pond and keep it down here while it rehabilitates, okay? Because I don't want to lose this plant. I have one more upstairs and it is literally tiny. That has also struggled to grow. That has also struggled to grow. So it's probably not the worst thing keeping it down here because it's never done well upstairs. But anyway, without further ado, just going to start on potting it. We're just going to see what we've got, really. I'm scared because I don't, I don't want this to go how I think it's going to go. I need very quickly my lecca bucket. I don't know if this is pure lecca or pot. If it's pure lecca, that might make sense as to why it's not done well because it's dried out too much. So I'm going to just put my mucky bucket of old lecca on here. I'm going to take this out because it has had water in it recently, but obviously not so good because I think it's rotted. And if I didn't do this today, if I didn't get to this today, we're probably going to lose it and we don't want that. I would love to start selling this to you one day if I actually get on it and start propagating it because there should be enough of it. Oh, let's not do that. You, honestly, I could probably pull this. Oh, I'm not going to though. I'm not going to because we don't know how bad this is. I'm going to gently start tipping it. I'm going to support the plant here. And start tipping it and see how bad this is. Right. Okay, so we are some pond, some liquor. So we're mainly pond. I don't think we're left with good stuff here. There's loads of root that's just come out and is in here. It's not sexy. There's just there's just tons of it, guys. Tons and tons of root system that has rotted into nothing. I don't know if you can see this. Let me show you this. There's so much dead shit in here. Can we see this? Hopefully it'll focus. So much of it, there's literally, look at it. Like the roots are just falling to bits. It's all up in here, all of this. It's it's everywhere. I'm not putting that in my pond. So I'm gonna take it out. I had a feeling this had happened. It's fine. I don't think the plant's gonna die. We will see. We will see. So put that down there and that down there. And we will see what we're gonna do. Personally, I don't think this is a goal today. I think we need to change tactic. So the stuff that's come out of here also, literally guys, it's gross. Should I zoom you in? I feel like I'll zoom you in. One moment, I'll just pull this out. Oh, it's nasty. But you know what? I thought you might just want super quick, straight to the point. Here's me finding a mistake I made, finding some neglect, doing what we've probably all done at some point or other. You find a plant in your collection and you think, oh God, it's gonna die. I don't care what I've got to do right now. For the next 30 minutes, my life is not my own and I need to fix this. So, let me put that down. I'm gonna zoom you into the desk because I don't think you need to see me for this. It's not really the point, is it? I'm gonna zoom you into the desk. Right, I'm gonna zoom you in there and I will tilt you down. Otherwise, it's not ideal. I want you to see what the tea is with this anyway because you can't see it otherwise, you know. Right, so. This is nice and, well, this here is nice and firm, so that's good. I'm quite happy with this one here. I hope you can see this. That's not so bad. I am going to trim off where I can see that it's rotted. So when you get threads like this, if you've never seen this before in your life, guys, where you get thread-like um, roots like this, this is where the root has completely lost its sheath, i.e. this outer, almost like a sleeve, like it almost looks like sausage casing at this point, okay? That's what's happened. This has come away from this. It's rotted, it's dead. So if you get these thread-like uh, roots on your plant, 
honestly, just get rid of them. There's, there's nothing good is happening there anymore. Do you know what I mean? Nothing at all. You may as well just get rid of them completely. So I'm just checking this for like squishy ends. The end of that's a little bit dark. So I'm just taking the very tip off the root, which I have done before. This root here, hopefully you can see, this is where it's rotted here. So this is actually dead. So I'm going to snip it here above where the rot is like so and hopefully that is fine this root is oh this is okay this is not okay that's dead now i've, I've got a sensitive issue here because this root is fine ish towards the bottom it's hanging on by a thread though so i'm not hopeful about what's going to happen with this entire thing this could very easily disconnect when i repot it not a good sign i'm gonna trim this as well i know this is scary okay when you get house plants that rot i know it's scary i completely understand especially when it's high value but i need you to just trust me when i tell you that sometimes nearly all the time actually cutting off more root is better than not cutting off enough okay so say say on this root here okay hopefully i really hope you can see this say this root here you know the rot it, in this case it only actually goes to there right i'm actually could have cut it to here because i want to make absolutely sure that i've got rid of that and it's gone okay i don't want this to happen again because you're going to cut it you're going to think it's fixed and then you're going to have to play the waiting game and see if it actually is all right so i'm leaving that there that's not bad i will cut off the tip i'm cutting off the tip of nearly any root just to make triple sure that i've got all this stuff again the threads i'm cutting off like that really hope i don't screw that up when i'm repotting it this here is dead get rid of that I've definitely got some rot here there see this that's an example of what i was talking about earlier if i show you that in my hands but it's turned really thread like really thread like and it's mushy see and what will happen is the root here in my hand will just pull away like that completely and it's useless so we don't want it guys i know it's scary but i promise you we don't want it at all you do not want that there just get rid just get rid i don't like that very much i'm actually going to be really overzealous and cut that because i want this plant to live overall i can deal with it taking a little bit of a hit it's already taken a hit but i want it to live i'm going to cut this not trusting of that here's another thread that's stuck more threads here all right we're getting somewhere now i think i keep knocking this table it's very annoying sorry if it's like not in line anymore best way to tell if something's rotting by the way give it a very gentle squeeze it should be very firm and if it's not you sh you'll know about it if it's a uh, rot don't just look for black by the way like for example a lot of this is rotted but it's not you know the roots aren't turned black a lot of people call it white rot um where you know the plants got root rot but it hasn't it hasn't stained the leaves black or whatever it's in an earlier stage of rot so don't just be looking for black roots that's not a good idea just pulling off bits of old petioles because why not being very careful though like that this thing has flowered as well so it's had a tough time i won't lie it's had a tough time but i think that's probably the best i can do if i move all the shit out of the way it's not very nice is it let's move that lovely lovely like that that's kind of what we're left with leaves not fantastic not terrible not really much of a reason to do much with them other than to just hope they're okay so is that a new root there no it's not it's pawn i was very excited there so this is kind of what we're left with now it looks a bit like this i'm now going to probably zoom you back out a bit and we will try and deal with the repotting what i'm going to do very quickly is rinse it though so one moment Okay, this has had a very light rinse, and when I say light rinse, I literally mean water that is maybe not quite lukewarm, it's a little bit cooler than that, so maybe water that's a bit above room temperature, we'll say. And I've not tried to pull any liquor off, I've left it, that's all I'm gonna do. And now we're gonna look into repotting it. I'm not going to cut this plant and propagate it, because it's not got enough up top to keep it alive, I'm gonna keep it as it is. I'm gonna hope and pray, and I will check on this. Well, I mean, I'm checking on it daily to see if it looks like it's tanking. But in, in a root sense, I will check on this in maybe two weeks to a month. And we will just see what happens. So I'm going to zoom you out while I put him in a different pot. But I think the plan has changed. And we're going to go with a one of my nursery pots and not one of these l -hole pots. Because I don't think this is going to help us at all, if I'm completely honest with you. I think we just run the risk of this plant not doing well. So I'll zoom you back in. That should be enough. Let me just check on the size of this. I think that's not bad, you know. I think that's adequate in order that we get a good amount of feed to it and we're not going to overwhelm it. We just have to plant it very carefully. The next decision I make, which I don't know what it's going to be, is probably going to determine if this plant might live or die. Um, and that is, am I doing pond, moss, or am I doing lecker? I want to say no to lecker. 
I don't know why. I've just, it, this is purely instinct, by the way. Sorry, I'll come down to the, the frame. This is purely instinct. I have no idea what to pick. I've had recently some lecker, some lecker, some anthuriums that aren't doing well in lecker. Could just be winter. Don't know. I've had a lot of success with moss recently. Do I do it? Don't know. These roots were not grown in moss, but it might be helpful to try this in moss. Oh, I don't know what to do. I actually don't know what to do. Let me just take a second. Take a second. Um, okay. Risky, risky. I'm going to go with moss, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of lecker in the bottom to help with the drainage. And then we're just going to attempt moss. And hopefully I don't lose this plant because I love this plant and it's so rare, guys. You won't see it around often, I don't think, anyway. My information could be out of date, perfectly willing to accept that. But uh, I don't think you'll see it very often. And you know what? I've got just enough moss for this. And when I say just enough, I mean I've probably got a pot's worth of moss. So this had better work, eh? So I have a moss bucket here that I will just... Pop there, I know it's ugly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some lecker in the bottom of here and not that lecker because it's dirty lecker. So one moment. The lecker, can you see? Lacquer is here. There's not a ton of it. It probably only goes up two centimeters in the pot. That's what we're working with today. That is what I think we should do. So I'm now going to drop this in here. Hopefully not put too much strain on this extra root because that's definitely concerning me a lot. That little bit of root that was just causing us an issue. It's very difficult because I just don't want to lose any roots that I haven't had to. So I'm just going to go super gentle like that, I think. I'm gonna hold it there. I'm gonna get my wonderful moss and I'm just gonna pop it in like so. And we are gonna pray that this works, guys. This is just sphagnum moss, by the way. It's nothing exciting at all. Nothing special about it. It's just moss. The special bit's probably gonna come from me feeding it. And I just seriously hope we don't lose it. We do have new growth, obviously, so I'm not completely condemning the plant. Anything goes drastically wrong with roots. Sorry, I'm pulling this. Anything goes drastically wrong with roots, if I catch it in time, I can chop up this um, this main stem here into chunks and hopefully we can still save it. So it still has time. I just think this is the pivotal point here where, you know, big decisions will have to be made with this plant if it doesn't really survive. I'm not overly pushing the moss down, but I'm pushing it down just enough to keep it nice and one, hydrated, two, stable in the pot. There's your chunk of lecker in there, but that's not a problem for me at all. And that's kind of that. Get rid of that. And that is what he now looks like. He will be fed and I will give you an update as soon as I have something on him. And there is a gnat flying around him, which is really annoying because I did a bomb yesterday. It's obviously hatched since I've done the bomb, <laughs> the bug bomb. So I will let you know how this goes. Let's pray for it because honestly, it's a beautiful plant. It Honestly, it's so unique. It's gorgeous. I absolutely adore it. And I really hope it lives. So we'll see what happens with that. I will let you know. Thank you very much for watching this really random video. If you actually enjoyed how I've done this and just literally me, you know, no bullshit, just talking about the plant, repotting it, showing you straight in what's going on, explaining things as I find them. If you found this helpful, entertaining, anything, please pop a comment, guys, because I can do more of them. I'm more than happy to. Genuinely more than happy to, but I need to know that you enjoy them. Otherwise, I won't know to do them. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to feed the plant with this. This is Nurture System. This is my feed. And we're just going to hope that it recovers well. We shall see. I will let you know when I can. And we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.